Okay, so since paranormal stuff has been my little spike of interest these past few days, I thought I'd talk about, um, well, I've always been interested in it, but just had a little, I don't know, little spike in interest in it these past few days, um, I guess. So I thought since um, that and since... Um, you know, I've been wanting to make videos recently. Thought I'd just make a video sharing some of my experiences with her, um, just in case people are interested. So, um, yeah, just obviously a disclaimer to anyone watching this. Once again, any of my friends, probably be a bit of a different video. And obviously, this is all my own experiences I can't prove any of it apart from the stuff which I have on video um so just um I encourage you to just go by what you feel on it you know um anyway and just um hope it's interesting nonetheless try not to ramble this time and I'll um just get on with it so the two main things I've experienced in regards to um, paranormal stuff or supernatural stuff, if they're even the right words, would be ghosts and UFOs. Um, don't worry, I'll explain them at least the best I can. So, um, let me start with the ghost one. So, my original house, which I lived in as a child, so... The one before the last one. Um, obviously, no need to believe me on this at all. But I do believe it was a haunted house. It was right next to a monastery. And let me tell you about um, my first um, experience, which I remember clearly, was I was... You, a child, maybe like, I don't know, seven or eight, and my, just my nan and brother in the house, and I loved, I loved go playing on my iPad at the time, and I left it downstairs in the kitchen, and when I went to go down and get it, standing right next to the table was this really tall, black, hooded figure, which looked a bit like a nun and um at the time i just i just froze i grabbed my ipad and i just ran up to tell my nan and brother who didn't believe me and obviously i don't think they still believe me since but i can still see it i can still picture it in my head and um yeah i do find that interesting that it looked like a nun and the house was basically bordering a monastery like the wall was the same wall as the monastery but the thing that really freaked me out was uh, i didn't know this at my t at the time but my mum told me that my sister had saw once she saw a nun ghost walk through the fence she was watching the TV when she was little. And then she saw what looked like a, a nun walk through the fence. And the word she said to my mum was, was something like, who's that lady who walked through the fence? And after I heard that, well, after it happened, I just want, wanted to um, think it was my imagination. But after I heard what happened to my sister, um, I started to think, it might have been a bit more and um looking back you know was a lot a few strange things at the house like i'd see stuff out of the corner of my eye and i'd hear things moving when i wasn't there and in the night like i'd be i'd be scared to be there by myself because i'd like hear stuff moving upstairs and then in the night, I remember once clearly, 
I heard a, a chair move downstairs. So, um, obviously, it could just be I do have a very vivid imagination, probably more as a child. But another thing, um, I want wanted to comment on was when I the house. If you might have heard this before, if you um into like um ghost stuff is the house just it just felt very like dense that's the only way they can use to describe it like once i moved to my new house it just had like a completely different energy it just felt a lot like calmer and lighter i suppose and um yeah that was my main experiences with it um i have had a, a few other strange things but they're a bit personal like um I, I might as well say that because um like after my grandmother grandmother died um she used to like she used to make really good toast. No, it might sound silly, but she used to make like really good toast. And um, after she died, um, and I stayed at my granddad's, we'd smell like toast in the night and stuff like that. And um, you know, I've had a few instances. Well, a lot of instances. Um, of seeing like white butterflies. So, um, and I researched it and there is like a, meant to be like a, you know, I guess you could say a, a ghost or like loved one connection with that. And, um, obviously, you know, it is summer could just be white butterflies, but it has happened quite a lot. Um, so yeah, um, they're the main things in regards to the ghost these which I can remember so yeah the reason I um I mean I've always been interested in stuff like that um a really um good channel I'd recommend if you actually want to see some proper stuff would be nukes top five and bizarre bub because they show some pretty scary stuff um Obviously, the things with the ghosts I have no um, proof of, but um, um, yeah. So just take it, take it as you will, and um, I'll move on to the next one. So the second main thing which I've experienced would be probably a more exciting one: UFOs. Now, if you've looked at my channel, you've probably seen them. I have like three UFO videos and um, I'll talk a bit about it. So I'll try to do them. I'll talk about the videos first and then I'll talk about other ones. So to my knowledge, um, to what I can remember, I've seen at least five things that could be technically classed as ufos and um, i'll talk about the videos first so obviously there's that black hole video um that was quite a few years ago where i can't remember what i was doing i was just filming myself on the trampoline for some reason uh, i don't even know how, how i spotted it now that i think about it but looking back in the video there's this black orb going smoothly across the sky. And then, um, yeah, I, I don't know anything, any um, thing that anyone has, which is black and looks like a circle and moves across the sky like that. Um, obviously, it was far away, so it could just be a, a beard or... Um, I, I would say a plane, but I've never seen a black plane in my life. And the 
um, that area we used to live in, it was quite close to a hospital, so except the direction, it, we didn't hear any helicopter noise. If it was, it was probably too high up anyway, um, except if it was a helicopter, it was going in the wrong direction. But I did zoom in and tried to use some filters on it, and it still looked like a sick, just a circular black thing. And the way it was moving, um, just looked at, like it was moving very smoothly. And I have researched a bit into that, and that have se been a few instances of like black, black orby objects. So, um, yeah. And then the second one would be that weird plane thing. Uh, the other one I have a video of. So it looked like, that's the only way I can describe it, just a weird plane thing. It had like, struggling to remember, white and blue and um. The weird thing about that was, I recall, I don't think I got this bit on video. Sorry, that, that's my dog, Bella. Anybody comes past and she goes off and then Missy starts as well. But, um... Bella Bog! Quiet! Sorry about that. Um... Okay, I'll just talk louder then. <laughs> um... Yeah, so... Um, it's just strange because uh, from where I was in that, again, my granddad's house, if usually if I'd film any plane from that room, it would look like a plane and that just didn't look like a plane. It was weird, um, had a blue bit and a white bumpy bit, maybe that's the wrong way around, but. It just looked very strange. And one thing I did forget to mention about that video, I actually saw another one at least twice, maybe even a third time. So um, maybe just a plane combined with, I don't know, a, something weird going on with the camera. Um, obviously, if I saw it more than once, it's likely it could be a plane, but I just don't know what could have made it look that strange. And, um, yeah, so that's that one. And then for the fair video, which is definitely the best one, um, I think I called it Strange Life light UFO spotted in Liverpool. It was this, I was once again in my granddad's, seems to be a, a bit of a hub. Um, was in the back bedroom and then I just spotted out the window just this white light and I decided to film it and it just, and it just stayed there and was moving a bit. And to this day, and it was clearly like it was a cloudy day, I think, and you could still see it quite um, clearly. And to this day, I still have absolutely no idea what that could be. Um, it does fit other stuff I've seen of like white, um, you know, bright orb UFO things. So um, I'm very glad I got that on film now because... Um, out of any of the stuff, that is definitely pro um, the most believable, I think. Not that I'm um, lying, obviously, go by what you feel on all of it. But, um, yeah, uh, all of the other ones, you know, um, there are explanations, but that one, I've got nothing. Um, so that's it for the videos. So now I'll move on to my own personal, I guess they're all personal, but you get the idea, 
um my own ones that i've seen which i didn't manage to get on video so um hope they'll hope they'll be interesting as well gosrin bella bog was just um going off again got my coffee here to keep me focused because losing my words a bit already with that last bit but um moving on to um my personal experiences ones i've seen um which i didn't manage to get on video so obviously i'll have no proof of them but um i swear i did see them <laughs> um so the oldest one i can remember is um Sorry, she's like a, a, um, a wolf. Um, I'll just um, restart this bit. So I'll just keep that bit in because I forgot what I was, was going to say now. Um, but yeah, gone. told her to be quiet, so should be fine now. Um, so moving on to ones I've seen by myself. Um... Okay, ne never mind. Um, I'll just talk. I'll just talk loudly then. Um, sorry if it's annoying. No matter what I do, she won't be quiet. So maybe I, yeah, I could just put her in the back garden actually. But um, yeah, I'll go and do that right now. Give me one second. Here we go, Bababushan in the garden. To get no more interruptions now. Um, so I think probably. Is this the third time? Probably the third time. Um, my own personal ones, which I've seen. So the oldest I can remember is, um, back when my mum had a flat. Um, I remember seeing this like blimp thing far away above our flat. And it, from what I can remember, is very dark colours, like greys, blacks, and it had like this weird shape on it. Um, yeah, I did a drawing of it once, but I can't find it. Um, that's all I remember of that. Obviously, I think I do remember seeing something, but I don't know how much of that was made up by my imagination but I, I do remember seeing something um yeah but that's all I can remember for that um and then another thing was um the fourth um fifth thing the um was in my old house again I went out to put something in the bin I can't remember what and obviously you know I um I look up at the stars so um went out put something in the bin and then I had a look look up at the stars and then I noticed this like orange yellowish light just in the sky and I just watched it for a few minutes probably five ten minutes maybe probably more like five, I don't remember it being long, and then it just, if I'm being honest, I can't remember what happened, but it either just disappeared or went away, so that's all I can remember from that, and um, that's it for the main ones, I'll get, I'll get on to other instant, instant, you know, sometimes I can talk fine and then other times like this I can't seem to. Um, other instances. Um, these are just the next ones here. If I'm being honest, they're probably the least likely to be real because um, I, don't, I don't remember much about them. Most of them are probably just my imagination um but i'll just say them anyway so i can recall three other instances 
Um, the first one was I was in the park, Cobblestones Park to be specific, and um, my city, um, well, you know, my old city, still my city, doesn't really matter. Um, as in Cobblestones Park, it was, at night it was dark. It was just, I just had Charlie at the time, and um, as a pet, I was with my dad though, and we were just walking across the grass bit, and I saw this big, um, I don't know how to describe it, like them ones they call, I think they call it the TR3B, like the triangle UFOs, and they have like, red lights in the corner and like a big white light in the middle i recall it being something like that um like going overhead now obviously that sounds a bit mad like um that might be completely and utterly my imagination but um i remember something like that and um my dad doesn't remember it um so if I'm being honest, most likely to be my imagination, but who knows. And then two other ones. First ones were, I remember looking out my window sometimes and I'd see like moving stars. Obviously, at the time I wanted to believe they were UFOs because UFOs are cool, but um, they were probably just satellites. And then one last one is I remember now I re I do remember these this clearly I'd see like disappearing stars and I mean I'd just be looking at a star or be looking near it and they'd just disappear or some of the even like go a bit brighter then just disappear so I don't know what to make of that maybe just more satellites or um, if not, I don't know what that could have been, if not just my imagination again. So um, yeah, that's all the experiences I can remember um, so far in my life. Hope I have more. Um, this stuff is very interesting to me and um, it's been fun to share and exciting to share it. Um, I've always wanted to share this stuff, so i um, being quite excited making this video. Um, yeah, the two out of all out of all of them, obviously, they all probably could have an exclamation. Black orb, just something far away and bad camera quality. Same with weird playing, you know, could just be a plane with weird camera quality. Excuse me. Orange light could just be a lantern um, or something. You know, um, the blimp could have just been a normal blimp and my child brain wanting to believe it's a UFO. I guess by definition, all of these are technically UFOs because I didn't know what they were. Um, the star ones could just satellites and the UFO in the park triangle one um obviously could have just been my imagination but the two things i have absolutely no explanation for would be that nun ghost i saw because i still remember seeing it clearly um i can picture it in my head right now it was tall and it was black and i definitely saw it um Maybe I'm just imagine, um, imagining my imagination of it, but um, I can tell you I, I wouldn't have been scared and ran up. That's probably the fastest I've ran, scared as I've been in my life. Um, I definitely wouldn't have done that. You know, nowadays, if I saw a ghost in front of me, I'd be like, oh, hey, that's interesting. Let's have a chat. But obviously then I was a child, so I, I wouldn't have been scared for no reason. Um, well, could have just been an overactive imagination, but point is, I don't think I would have been scared if there wasn't something there. 
Um, so I have, and plus my being next to a monastery and it being a nun ghost, and my sister also seeing, apparently seeing a nun ghost walk through the wall, it's really got me thinking um, about that. Um, and then the other thing I have absolutely no exclamation for is that um, white light that I have a video of. Um, yeah, they're probably the most two likely things out of all of them. The ghost, the nun ghost, and that white light um, UFO. Um, obviously, I have a few of the other UFOs on camera. Um, I don't know why I didn't film the orange light one. Um, don't think I could film the blimp one at the time, and obviously I couldn't um, film the ghost in the moment. But I I do remember I used to take videos in that old house, and you know how they say them orbs. I did see some of them in the videos, maybe just dust and whatnot. But um, yeah take all of them what you will obviously most of them i have no proof of but the two i absolutely believe and cannot explain are the nun ghost and that weird white light which i saw um so yeah that's it so far um i know also this might seem a bit strange because obviously if you're my friend or you've seen my channel i clearly like you know, I'm interested in like scientific stuff as well. And you're probably like, well, how can you believe that stuff and this as well? But I I don't know where that thing came from, where, you know, if you believe in science, you can't believe in the paranormal stuff, you know, who knows how the universe works, you know, that could be real. No reason this can't be real along with it, you know. I don't know where, when that got like, um separated but it when it comes down to this fundamentally i just believe it well obviously i believe this from my own experience as well but also because that's the stuff i'm interested in and um yeah um hope that has been take it take it as you will take it what you will let me know what you think if you want and um i'll be happy to hear what you make of it any explanations for any of them any of your own experiences if anybody watches this and um yeah i think that's all um hope that's been interesting been very exciting to make happy to finally share this stuff and um yeah, that's all really, um, until I see something else, then bye for now, have a wonderful day.